Well, guys, who could have seen this coming after the events of September 13th a few nights ago? It was speculated over the weekend that Jane's Addiction was going to be cancelling the remainder of their tour dates. So last Friday, Jane's Addiction's concert in Boston ended abruptly and chaotically when frontman Perry Farrell physically attacked guitarist Dave Navarro on stage during the 11th song of their set, Ocean Size. Video footage shows Farrell, who appeared to be drunk or high, yelling at Navarro, shoulder checking him, and then throwing a punch that connected with the guitarist's upper torso. Crew members and bassist Eric Avery had to physically restrain the frontman and drag him off stage. Fans have been discussing online about Farrell's erratic behavior and struggling vocals at recent shows leading up Farrell's to the Farrell's wife Eddie claimed that her husband was frustrated by the instruments drowning out his vocals and that he's been dealing with tinnitus and a sore throat on the entire tour. She went on to add, there's been a lot of tension and animosity between the members, which is the magic that made the band so dynamic. This morning, the band's social media pages posted the official statement that read, to all fans, the band have made the difficult decision to take some time away as a group. As such, they will be canceling the remainder of the tour. The announcement goes on to say that refunds for the canceled dates will be issued at your point of purchase. There was speculation that Dave Navarro or the tour was going to be canceled over the last day or so. The guitarist posted a photo of himself holding an acoustic guitar with the Jane's Addiction logo on it with a caption that read good night. Today Navarro posted a more detailed statement on behalf of himself and the other two members of the group writing, due to a continuing pattern of behavior and the mental health difficulties of our singer Perry Farrell, we have come to the conclusion that we have no choice but to discontinue the current U.S. tour. Our concern for his personal health and safety, as well as our own, has left us with no alternative. We hope that he will find the help he needs. Navarro continued by saying, We deeply regret that we are not able to come through for all of our fans who have already bought tickets. We can see no solution that would either ensure a safe environment on stage or reliably allow us to deliver a great performance on a nightly basis. Our hearts are broken. The statement is signed Dave, Eric, and Steven. Altogether, 15 dates are being cancelled less than a month after Live Nation announced that 7 dates were being added to the end of the tour. So do you guys think we will see Jane's Addiction once again reunite or do you think it's over for the band? Let me know in the comment section below and we'll see you later on Rock and Roll Stories Sticker.